Hey guys, here's another quick little tip and trick here. This is about um, converting a WAV file over to an MP3. Um, real simple, I'm not going to go into much detail about the other programs because I don't have it installed at the moment. So I uh, imported my mix that I just did recently over here. But, so if you do a control and click on that, and oh, I can create an AAC version. I don't want to do that. So what I need to do is go into iTunes, go into the preferences, uh, import settings, change that from that encoder to the MP3 encoder. I want it to be custom and I want to go 320. I don't want to filter frequencies below 1000 Hertz, no. Smart encoding adjustments, I don't even know what the hell that is. I'm taking it off. Joint stereo. You know what, let's just go normal. Uh, sample rate. Let's put it right up there, 4800. Channels, stereo. And that should be good. And hit OK, hit OK again. Now when I go up here and I hit the control and I click, now you're gonna see create an MP3 version. I click on that one. And you'll see up there, there's a little thing spinning around to let us know it's doing something. If I readjust the time again, And well, it's doing its thing, but you know what? It's gonna take a while, so, but that's it. That's all you need to know. You don't have to wait around for me because what you'll have in there is you're gonna have two files. You'll have your WAV file and your MP3 file. See, just popped up. So there's my new one. And I can just uh, click here, get the info on it. And there it is right there. It's an MPEG audio, right? Because if I look back at the other one, let's click OK. And you right click, do that control click again. And you get info. And you look under the file. You will see that is a WAV file, much bigger. That's it. Talk to you guys soon, and hope you enjoy.